in San Germán, still just kind of exploring, and we noticed that there was a cave uh, system in this area, and we're, we went really quickly up uh, some high altitude into the top of this mountain, and uh, we just talked to a neighbor here, and he said that there is a cave down this way, but he wasn't sure if this would be the best way to access it. We did notice that there's a little trail here, but we're not sure if it's just like a horse trail. So maybe we will uh, walk a little bit. We think that it's only about 800 feet or so, but those 800 feet could be pretty treacherous uh, if it's got some uh, up and downs and lots of vegetation. So we'll see what we can do and uh, let you know how it goes. So we took a little hike and it's just gorgeous. I mean, check out this view. But we think that the 800 or 1,000 feet or whatever it is, is as the crow flies. So we'd have to cross that river that's down there in order to find this cave. So we're thinking probably finding a road on the other side of the river might be better than trying to go down this really steep hill. Now we're back at the clearing and we're going to see where this other trail goes. Ready, Aiden? Go yeah. for it. That was not the egg. What is that, Aiden? What'd you find? I found it. What is it called? I know. Parcha. Parcha, that's right. Let me see it. Wow, oh, that is so cool. Aiden, good job. Aiden, there's a little bird. It's a San Pedrito. Is this a mango? No, it's, it's called a San Pedrito bird. We got some instructions from a man who lives near a spot that we asked for directions and uh, we're about to find the entrance to the cave. Maybe. Maybe. He said they'd find a bridge and do some stuff and stay the <laughs>
Here's the quebrada he mentioned. So somewhere over here probably. Yep, so what do you think, Aiden? I think it's no pink. It's gonna be a venture, huh? Yeah. So we're on our second shot or try finding this cave, uh, Cueva Los Chorros in uh, San Germán, Cabo Rojo kind of area. And so we tried where the map ended us and it, the man said that there was a better path down here near the Quebrada, which we're at now, here's the river. And so we're gonna take this road to the end and then hopefully start hiking from there. kind of turned into a little bit of a dirt road and there's nothing more so we're about as close as we think we can get we're going to try to take this uh, I guess you could call it a trail this bumpy road and um, apparently according to the map the GPS is that the cave is directly this way and down here is the quebrada so according to the neighbor we just follow uh, quebrada road until our trail until we reach there, and he said it's really quick, like 10 minutes, so we'll know shortly if we're pretty lost or not. this trail up here and there's this little house that looks, or shed or something like that and uh, so we're not sure exactly where to go from here the trail continues up this way but we thought that the map said that the cave was that way so I'm not sure if it'll double around or if we're on a wild goose hunt so we were thinking that this trail would eventually circle back down to the cave from the direction that we understand, but we think it's actually going up and up and up to where we were the last time, which is overlooking this beautiful valley. Um, so we actually need to get down back down to the Quebrada in order to cross it because that is apparently where the cave is. So I think we just went overshot it a little bit, but it is just beautiful out here. have to be a little bit more precautious because there's a, a dog in the path now. Always something in the adventure. It's supposed to only be about a thousand feet from where we parked, but we're kind of getting lost. So we're gonna try to actually cross the river right here. This Hold one up for me, buddy. Look at this! What are all these fruits? Oh, show them, Ethan. Are these my maize? Okay, so we're not sure where we're supposed to cross, but we know we're supposed to cross the river at some point, so we figured this is as good as any. And um, has lots of fruit, kind of as a, a good uh, omen, I guess. And the other uh, sign that maybe this is a good spot is that this barbed wire is tied up right here so that we can pass through um, without getting too snagged. So.
So Aiden and I were waiting in the jungle. We walked a little bit, but we didn't want to get too lost while uh, Britton went off and explored, but we weren't sure where Britton was. So we started to kind of get a little bit nervous that maybe he got lost or we were lost. And so we just kind of stayed put for a while and then it started to kind of, the time started to go. So finally we heard Britton yell in the distance, but we didn't know what, what kind of adventure he was on. While they were waiting, uh, I was crawling through brush, uh, there's a lot of brush, crawling through like a dog just trying to get to the GPS location and I got there. And then on the way back I found the trail that's a lot easier, so we're going to give that one a shot. Look Aiden, there's perches everywhere out here. All over the ground. There must be a perch of mine. We're hiking up and up and up. I don't think this is the exactly the easiest trail back, but we're getting there. You can always tell the Saba when you first come upon it. Oh my god, this is a crazy hike. Wow, look at these beautiful, I think they're wild anthuriums. This tape is so useful. Would have helped if we could find more of those on the way back. Okay, well that was pretty hard. We didn't, we couldn't find the, the trail that Britton had found on the way back until the very end when we saw the orange tape. And there's a piece of orange tape right there. And just beyond it, I believe, hopefully, is the cave that we climbed and got itchy and scratchy and sweaty for the whole way. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's cool. Woo so here's one, another entrance into the cave. Uh, I think it might be pretty close to here. Like all of the, the cave entrances are, are kind of all together in this area. What's up, Aiden? Okay, so we are uh, actually going to head back because it's getting dark, so we don't have very much time to explore, but we found them. We found all the entrances, I think. This is the main one, probably the easiest one. You can just walk right in. You don't have to, like, drop in. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's a little dark. A little dark. <laughs> so, at least we know now where it's at. We can come back another day and... Why is that banana in the road? Let us know that there is a big Today we are back at the entrance to uh, the hike to the cave. We got lost for the third time, but we made it. So at least we kind of had an idea where we were uh, headed. Um, so now we're going to head down the path that we hopefully can remember this time and not get uh, off. If we can follow those um, tape markings, it'll really help to get there and then it's only about 15 minutes otherwise it's a crazy steep uh, climb but we are on our way again let's wish us luck
Okay. I can smell it. It smells different over here, Aiden, doesn't it? Yeah. Come on up. We need the flashlight. Yep, we're going to need the flashlight. Yeah, we only need the flashlight. Wow, this is light. cool. Um, okay, I got my mask. Come on in, Aiden. I got my mask. Okay, good. Whoa, look at this, Aiden. Yay! We get to come and explore it today, Aiden. We got here before, but we didn't get to go in. You ready to go in? Yeah. This yes. is so Are you cool. going to flash light and you can turn it on for me? We're all going to get our flashlights and stuff ready. All right, we made it to the cave. This is the main entrance. There's at least three other entrances or two other entrances besides this one, but we're going to try this one first. So let's go see what's inside. All right, Aiden, let's go in here. Whoa. Do I have a flashlight? <laughs> Keep your head down low so you don't pump it, okay? Ooh, look at that little tunnel, Aiden. Oh, there's a cool tunnel this way, and there's one tiny, tiny one that way. Let's go this way. Yeah. Why? It's a bigger tunnel. Look, there's an arrow. I can't see that. Look, Aiden, this is so cool. Whoa. Look at this neat tunnel. Which way should I go? Yeah, left or right? Right. This is left, and that's right. Should I go down? I think right, but it's this kind of Right? Okay, let's go right. Ooh, look at the cool, creepy spider thingy. Look at that spider. Ooh, look at this, Dada. Look. It's cool. Crystals. What is crystals? It's sparkly. It's so pretty. It's a neat uh, formation in the rock. Okay, Aiden, we're following the, the orange tape. Why? It's going to show us where the other entrance is. Remember we found it the other time, but we didn't get to go in? My favorite part uh, is all of these leaves. These are uh, wild anthuriums. Look at how intricate this looks, almost like 
like lace. This is an old leaf on the ground. So beautiful. And then we come into all of this whole kind of forest of wild anthuriums. Feels like you're in the jungle book. These uh, orange markers are really helpful. It's helped us to come all the way up. This is actually the way we came the first time. We ended up way high and then went down and got really confused. But it's much easier if you come the way that we did and then just follow these orange markers all the way up here. Other end. Careful, buddy. Whoa, good job. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go try to go down a little bit. Okay, go down. Hop in. Hop in. Hop. Hop? Yeah. I don't know if I'll actually hop, Eden. Why? <laughs> Not a rabbit. Why? It's kind of slippery. It's kind of slippery. There's some more crystals in there. Say hi. Hi. What are we doing, Eden? We're doing getting in the cave. It's a cave, huh? Mm -hmm. Way down, down, down. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. So this looks to be a wild vanilla plant. Pretty cool. I'm not sure. It could be some other type of orchid. This gorgeous anthurium grove is also right next to this amazing tree. So we found the hole again, Eden. Yay! Say thank you, Forrest. Thank you. We got. We kind of lost it. We couldn't find exactly where it was because we came up the opposite side. But uh, we think this might be connected to the main cave, or just maybe it's a manhole. We're not sure. Okay, you don't have to. We made it out once again. A great scouting and exploring expedition. We're gonna take this road and then point. We really need to take this road and a point. Look at this. Wow, we're way up here in the mountain. Oh! <laughs>